this video looks at another way to find the five number summary using cumulative frequency. Now we're using the same example from our five number summary uh, previously. It's 30 students and their marks out of 10 on a recent math exam. The first thing we need to do is find the cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency is a total of a frequency and all the frequencies so far in the distribution. In other words, it's a running total of frequencies. In this example, each score or each student have their own row in the spreadsheet and hence the running frequency each time is to add one more student until eventually you reach the end where we have 30 students because this is how many there were. The next thing we need to do is to turn each of these cumulative frequencies into a percent cumulative frequency. So remember that our total here is 30, there's 30 students so we want each cumulative frequency to be a percent of 30. So we take 1, we divide by 30, multiply it by 100. Now I'll just get a little bit tricky here, we want to drag this formula down but we want to always be divided by 30 so we need to make that uh, cell blocked so or locked in so we put the double dollar signs there. We can just drag this down and, and to check that you're on the right track your last one which is your 30th student should have 100%. 30 out of 30 divided by 100. Now remembering that Q1 is for 25% of the data we go back and we find where 25 would be. The 25 would be between the 7 and 8th here 25% so it's our Q1 is 5 and then Q3 then would be 75% of the data and so we go down and find where 75 would exist Okay, so it exists somewhere within there because that's ending at 76% so again that's our Q3 value our middle then would be 50%, so 7, and we end up with our 5 number summary in the exact same way. The minimum, the maximum, 25% of the data at 5, 50% of the data at 7, 75% of the data at 8.